Good morning children. I hope all of you are doing great. Today we are going to learn about verbs and specifically tenses. tenses. As you all know, a doing word is called a verb. A verb is a word which says something about a person or thing. It is the most important word in a, in a sentence. Now let's hear these two sentences. Sentence 1. The child scattered all the toys. Sentence 2. Granny looked for her walking stick everywhere. Where? Now the words scattered in sentence 1 and looked in sentence 2 are showing action. These are called action words or verbs. Verbs show action. Now let's let make a list of some of your hobbies. Example, dancing, reading, listening to music, painting, here again, the doer is doing, doing some action. So, these are all verbs. Now that you have learnt about verbs, let's go on to tenses. The tense of a verb is that form of a verb which tells, which tells us about the time of an action and whether that action is complete or or not. I repeat, tense is the form taken by the verb to indicate the time of the action. Tenses are used to exp express different time. An action or an event may have taken place in the past or it may take place in the present or maybe in the future. So, there are three kinds of tenses, the present tense, the, pa the past tense, and the future tense. Today, we will discuss about the present tense. The simple present tense is used to either express an indefinite action, activity, or state of being. Example. Meta studies in class 3. Present tense is also used to express a habitual or routine action or activity. For example, my father reads, reads the Times of India every day. Present tense also expresses a universal truth. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So, I hope you have understood. And until the next class, bye children, be good.